After hundreds of years alone on Earth, a robot discovers a new purpose in life when he stumbles upon the key to the planet's future in Wally. Hi, I'm Sharon Stone. No, I'm not. I'm Kathy Najimy, and here is a scene from my, my upcoming animated feature, Pixar's Wally. You're gonna love it. Wally was such a cute movie. Where did you get the idea from? Uh, well, you know, it's been a uh, spark of an idea that's lasted almost since 94. Uh, we were at a lunch during the making of Toy Story, and we came up with our next movie, A Bug's Life. But in that same lunch, we threw around the idea of uh, the last robot on Earth. Oh. My Uh, doing this this job that it didn't know it could stop doing and that's about as far as the idea went it was sort of ended right there But it, it was such a lonely character that I think that was so strong. It's stuck in the back of my brain Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty tired of looking at the same thousand faces on my screen every day Your character Mary is one of the thousands of humans on the axiom. What has happened to the human race? Well, they've been, like, ejected from the Earth because there's no more room for them because of all the trash we're making. Yeah, it gets, there gets to be so much garbage on the Earth that everybody has to go up in a spaceship and sit there and look at a screen until they clean up the Earth. And Wally's the only one doing it. Come on! Where's your sense of adventure? You play the captain in this film. He's never been to Earth and he's the commander of the Axiom, how does he feel about his position? He wants to go to Earth, badly. He's bored out of his mind. He's reliving the same day every day. Computer, status report. Wally comes into the picture. What's the captain's impression of him? He's a dirty little robot, and he doesn't really know what his story is, but he discovers along the way, and Wally's got the plant. Spend your flying your cruise in style. Because at BNL, space is the final what has happened on Earth? Boy, something went wrong, it sure did. Uh, and um, I think there was overproduction. Uh, we polluted too many rivers. We cut down all the trees. All in an effort to bring the people what they wanted. And suddenly, Earth becomes uninhabitable. Thanks to Wally and Eve and this little plant they bring back, they find that life is now sustainable on Earth. And it takes a lot of bravery to turn the ship around and go back to Earth. And uh, I don't want to give away the ending, but it's quite inspirational. The humans have been living on the Axiom for 700 years now. What is the lifestyle like, and what, is, what are they doing on the ship? Well, what they're doing is what uh, a lot of people let their children do, just sit in front of televisions and eat and uh, play with the remote control. Uh, until their hands touch in the story, um, you know, my character doesn't realize that, uh, that he has a heart and there's, there's a, a higher purpose to existence than collecting Somebody things. Down here. Over here, Wally! Wally! Over here, buddy! Do you think that you can see this potentially happening hundreds of years from now? I think I can see it happening like in 20 years from now, like tomorrow. <laughs> I think I can see in the future just because everyone wants to be able to do things without really having to move a lot because people are very lazy. Well, I, I don't think everybody's like that. I think you're just hanging around with the wrong group of people. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who really enjoy getting out and doing things, whether it's riding a bicycle, uh, going fishing, hiking. There's tons of things going on out there. Once this screen comes on, there's the, there's the shield, and gravity comes back in. What is the process like from beginning to end of creating an animated film such as Wally? -E? You know, it's like making a live action movie in slow motion. Um, I have all the same kind of jobs, or people doing the same jobs you would have in a live action. I have a cameraman, I have somebody with the lights, I have somebody doing the costumes, the props, I have the actors, all those things. I, I deal with people all day and I'm talking to them in the same kind of languages about how we're going to do anything, except that they use the computer to do their job. And we don't get to all meet on a set all at once and go action, cut, and done. We have to keep putting these pieces together and looking at them uh, on the screen. So it takes weeks to do a shot, sometimes months. 
So it is like live action in slow motion. Oh. 